Yo, what's good? I'm Fire here back to another video, and today we're going to be hopping into a, another College Football 25 video. Today we're going to be running the Miami offense, and we are going to be running this gun spread offense. So in Miami, you have gun spread and spread offset, so we're going to kind of bounce between both. We are going to start out in the spread as kind of our main set. So we're going to set up our audibles with Smash Corner. I like the quick base. All go is going to be kind of your four verticals. We are going to go with the slot fades play. And then as our R1 audible, we have, we'll just leave in a PA read here. I'm going to burn a timeout and then we'll talk about some of the audibles from the other formation. So out of here, we have a similar play in the smash corners. You have a read option that I like. And then we're actually going to throw in this. Okay, I guess he's going to pause. We're going to throw in that. I think it's called fade stop. It has a nice little fade on the outside or it's 617 all go something like that. It has the nice wide receiver fade with an outside release, which can be very good to split defenses like those cover twos. Hopefully he um, just un unpaused our game here. All right. Um, so getting back into it, we like the 617 play for that outside audible and then we'll just leave in the RPOs. So we are going to have to take a delay of game. It takes so long to do these audibles. I should have pre-did them in practice mode, but it's okay. We'll start out with a little delay of game, make life tougher on ourselves. That's fine. Now, we do also have a read option out of this uh, formation, just the classic gun spread as well. I think the spread offset is in Colorado. We are going to start out with the read option here. I meant to hand it off. I got confused by the, the uh, I always get confused by, I'm such a creature of habit. I get confused by holding A and not holding A. Here we go to smash corners. I like streaking A, dragging B. Throwing that just baby hitch on the outside. We pick up a lot of yards. Very good stock route to do against soft coverage. And he went for the dive on the interception. Not the smartest move, to be honest. It's not the smartest play because he should have made the tackle. Let's audible here and let's go back to a different read option. You see the audible just takes so little time. All, he does, all, the, all that happens is the running back moves. Maybe the receiver moves a little bit. And nice carry on the ground, second and three. So if you are gonna run the ball, it's gonna be a little bit better to run out at the spread offset. Not that it's bad running it under the spread, but sometimes it can just be a little bit better under one particular formation. Here we're gonna go to the slot fade. I'm gonna try and get some of the stuff going. So I'm gonna go with a simple route combination here, a little in route with X, RB on a flat. We're trying to open up A here if we're at all possible. And I guess he's just going to drop the ball. It's not ideal. I don't understand. <laughs> Players will just drop the ball like that. Here I like this PA read setup. Two zigs, angle route. Oh, no fumble. Pick it up. Big boy gets the first down. <laughs> Now, one thing in spread you want to try and do that I did on that last play is have pocket presence step up. We weren't able to actually get out of the pocket, but um, it's going to be because it's a spread formation. You want to step up similar to something like a U-trips, even a box offset. Some of those uh, formations that we've ran and talked about before. I'm going to go back to the slot fades. I think there's a lot of big play potential with that. And obviously, if he's coming out in like those dime dollar formations, we have some room to work with.
Here's the setup, a little post drag action. I probably have the post. I'm, 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 I'm looking a little gun shy here. We gotta just make some better reads. I think I have things open, but I haven't played the game in a while, so we're a little bit rusty at the moment. It's okay. the delay of games bro or the stupid false starts they're so annoying this is the setup we're going with this is out of the 617 I put Y on corner out A on a drag B on a post and we get that post route wide open and we are able to take that to the house. So finally, get a little bit of time, just make the right read. I was trying to go corner out, he got bumped a little bit, so we just go post over the top, pick up the touchdown there, made a life a little bit tougher than it had to on ourselves, but overall, just getting warmed up here in the spread. It's something you probably do wanna go ahead and practice if you don't run it often. Like you can see, even I'm rusty running out of the spread at the moment. So kick this baby off, see if we can pick up a stop on defense. The shaded end zone is a little tough to see also. It's like blinding my eyes. But nonetheless, no excuses. And He's running the tight off, one of my favorite formations. It's in Mississippi State. It's in Arizona playbook. It is in the Arizona ebook. If you guys have not watched that, make sure you guys go check that out. Good wrap-up tackle there. The jet sweep, super tough to stop. You really have to be patient with your user. Stay composed. You guys know what I like to start out in. in it is going to be quarters. Play action fake. And we do get the pressure there. Third and 14. We're going to go to the cover six. So let's move these flats up to 15 yards is fine. Maybe we get beat over the top. We'll see. I'm expecting him to throw middle, so that's why I went to this. It's going in super widespread formation. Oh my goodness, almost throws an interception. We do get the pass breakup. And fourth and 14, he probably should punt here. Especially in his own end zone. He's gonna go for it, which I don't understand why people do. He, he almost got to stop on, on defense too, which is crazy. I like pass committing on these downs, trying to get some better pressure. He's gonna run just a streak up the middle here, throw it right at my user, and that's gonna be an easy pass defense. I try to intercept it so we get a longer field, but looks like he's gonna quit anyway, so we will go through and hop into a second game. All right, so hopping into game number two, and it looks like we may be facing the exact same guy. I don't know. I can't remember if this is the same guy. Oh, he's got his mic on, so. All right, so hopping into game number two, we're facing up against Michigan State. So Michigan State is gonna be an interesting team. I think they have a mobile quarterback, but obviously we do have the upper hand. He's gonna go drag, wrap up that. Accidentally came out in the wrong formation, but let's get our defense set up here. coming out on this under center formation so maybe he's gonna try and run the football on us which he is nice outside leverage from number four there it's 
third and five we're going to pinch the defense we are going to pass commit here see if we can get those better block sheds once again which is something that we kind of already mentioned right dang you got a ton of time <laughs> so much time to pass there we had everything really bottled up well just so much time to pass that he ends up finding an open receiver gonna be illegal contact I think oh wait what was the flag intentional grounding I didn't think that was intentional grounding to be honest but I'll take it did not think that was intentional grounding he looked like he's getting out of the pocket no oh my gosh terrible terrible user QBs just seem so fast, you know. When they get out of the pocket, they are so much faster than you think. So we definitely got to worry about uh, QB and Michigan State here. I'm going to contain here in case it is a pass. Could be a run, could be a read option. Running back screen. I try and get through the blocks. It's so, it's back in Madden days, if you used to read the screen that well, you could actually like ju jump through the line. In this game, even if you do read the screen well, the linemen do a good job of picking it up. It makes the screen, the screen game a lot better than it used to be, which is probably a good thing. Like in real life, you'd get picked up if you're the only person there. Okay, this guy, number 31, will be off the user game. He is slow, way too slow. Let's get a corner here. And let's get you out of the game. That guy. That guy wasn't cutting it, let me tell you. He's in the I form here. Play action, going corner route on the right. He finally gets some pressure there. Nobody open. Why did my player stop moving? My linebacker like stopped moving and everything like froze for a second. That's weird. I was like trying to get over there. Nobody's open. Nice sack there. He's gonna use up pretty much the whole first quarter here. See if he snaps it. Nope. So he does use it the whole first quarter, which is kind of good for us. We have the opportunity, hey, on our next drive, we can take a long drive by ourselves and then we get the ball at half, hoping we can hold him to a field goal here. I'm gonna run palms here, looking for a little bit more of an aggressive style of defense. Is it just me or does the screen look a lot lighter now, or darker now? Close to getting that interception. We were, we were close. I'm going to go with a lot more of a conservative defense here. Just play a heavy Tampa 2. He's going to be looking heavy crossing route, I'm assuming. I don't know how he, how did he even get the ball off? Nonetheless, we played the style of defense that we wanted. We're gonna hold him to a field goal here. And overall, that's a pretty successful defensive drive. We made him really work for it, right? He didn't have to, he didn't drive down the field. Nothing was easy. He's gonna put up the field goal. He's gonna go up three nil. 
and uh, we'll have to answer back here. 11 plays, 62 yards is a pretty good con defensive conversion rate, especially when we did give up the big QB run. Other than that, really limited the big plays, forced them to check it down. That's a good kick, whoever their kicker is. But going back on offense here, hopefully they don't make us reset our audibles. They don't. I'd love to see it. Oh no! <laughs> not a bad, not a, not a, not a good po throw for me. We will, uh, we'll fix that. I'm not playing well in the spread right now, but we just gotta warm up. You really do have to be warmed up. This offense is good. We will show it the rest of the game. Sorry about that, but we're just gonna put ourselves in the hole. The itches are dangerous because you saw, like, I should have read cover three right off, off the bat. That was really bad, actually. I don't, I don't really have much of an excuse. That was just cover three all the way. Jesus Christ, what a f t t terrible throw. <laughs> He's so wide open. That wheel concept is good out of spread. We will definitely be going back to that still. <laughs> really? Hopefully we can get a stop here and still have a chance to get the ball back. This half. Oh my god, pick that, bro. We do get the ball back, and we still have all three of our timeouts. Two interceptions, not great. 
We'll have to step it up back. Hopefully, nice kick by him. His kicker is Nat. Got a good leg. I'll tell you that much. All right. Got a work cut up for us. But the defense really bailing us out. We threw a pick six. Threw another interception in our own territory. So, it's definitely all out in front of us here. But we'll relax. Get things going. Wow, just cannot stay, get anything to go our way at the moment. Catch. Good drive and we put up a touchdown not the easiest drive but we're figuring things out here taking care of the football making smart decisions and um, yeah nothing's was coming easy we're having to work for it but we're putting together I think some things that I can definitely take to the second half some of the corner out concepts doesn't look like the flats are working amazing those quick out routes definitely a solid concept that we'll continue to go back to if he's gonna sit in backed up cover three and uh, I still want to go back to the wheel routes, which I didn't show at all on that drive. But it's all about just obviously making the things work that we're trying to execute. Those wheel routes will be good. Some other things we can do are um, some other things are maybe try some seam streaks, some RPOs could work as well. How did that even, we're just gonna go to prevent. I was gonna say, how did that even get that much separation? I don't honestly know. That was good. That was Hail Mary a high powered formation now or what? Okay, I was, I was not even expecting him to throw that, but that's fine. We can make the tackle, we get the ball in half. Down by six after throwing a pick six and a pick from your own 20 yard line. You'll take only be down by six points. Defense played well. Just got to continue to obviously score touchdowns on the offensive side of the ball. But 
Spread offense, it looked good on that last drive. Let's make it look great again. Simple drag route. And again, you see I'm just kind of stepping up in the pocket here. side holy crap flip the play idiot dude Damn. Dot. Good pass against the cover two out of that setup. Smash verticals, motioned over a streak route, which is supposed to hold the safety inside. Had the backside drag just as an extra route. And then we have the little baby hitch to hold down the cloud flat. So really good concept there, using a lot more motion on this drive. He's switching his defense from heavy cover three. We started beating the cover three with those out routes. So those are the things he's worrying about. We go to the cover two and it works good there. So. 58 seconds left. I don't think we scored too quick or too slow. I like where we're at clock management wise. Let's say he goes down, gets a field goal. We're going to have enough time to at least get the ball back. Oh my goodness. He's playing with fire. Lucky devil. Good pressure. I'm going to go with a contain here. He's been running the ball a lot with the QB. Heavy crosser. That's so, he was in perfect spot and he bails at the last minute. That's sad. That's so unfortunate. He just, the running back just got close enough for the match assignment to change. I didn't fall with my user, which I should have, but that's okay.
Bro, why are you, if you're in a quarter flat match with a player that's sprinting across your face? This guy's not throwing over the top. Just don't let the stupid corner out get open. You, you guys, let's let's please defend the corner out. Thank you. I had the zig and I had the post open, just threw a backside post behind the zig. Probably had the backside drag from the receiver, but it, at that point we had already stepped up in the pocket so much it's just easier to run the ball. Was that not a touchdown? No. 
That's a touchdown. Cam Ward QB sneaks it into the end zone. So, third total touchdown, his first rushing touchdown, two passing touchdowns, of course. I think we used up about as much of the time as we really could have there, right? Got it down to fourth down, he used two timeouts, ran the clock down to 50 seconds. Not his greatest clock management, but now we just got to get a stop. He hasn't scored this half in his one possession, and we've scored twice, so we've really played this game kind of the way we wanted to. Good tackles. Just got to... We want to play aggressive, but we don't want to play over aggressive. He's going to the stupid Hail Mary set, so he's really trying to run the ball or uh, throw the football deep down the field. I'm going to man up just the tight end immediately with this player. He, he's putting the running back on nothing of significant importance, and that's going to be the game. It's not going to be the game, but it really should have been the game. He's going to run this outside pass play. Here's what we're going to do, man up this player. He's going to go out route. Good defense. Didn't see that he switched to the five wide there. Put the QB contain on, don't want him to scramble. What the hell happened there? left What are, you, what are you doing, dude? He's not going to play that ball.
It's a match. Do I have any play? Yes, I do. All right, let's go to overtime. All right, we got OT here starting out on defense. See if we can uh, pick up a stop here. Stretch, no, nothing doing. God, pick up a block. We got what we needed, though. Turnover on downs, what we needed. Finally, we get a sale because Cam Ward sold on that first drive sale on the ball. Delay of game. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel down below, and peace, I'm out here.